Okay, I'd like to welcome uh, our next speaker. Uh, <laughs> Hamid Sharara, as you know, is Mr. Rise Up. He is uh, a friend of mine, I love to say that. He's also from Mila, he's from uh, Mila 9. Yes, Mila 9. And I leave the floor to him. Yes. Can I say? Hi. Um, so welcome, guys. I feel like um, in the family. <laughs> uh, most of you really know everything about me and friends. A lot of very close friends over there. Yasmin, Yasmin, Yasin, Rania, Lacey. <laughs> I, can't, I wouldn't say name, Bobby. Thank you for coming. Mohamed, Mila 9, 7, 8, all of us. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so uh, Rania was telling me that I should talk more about how Rise Up started back in 2013. A little bit uh, about my experience with Mila and maybe the connection between both. Uh, okay, so I'll start with Mila actually, and this is the freshest uh, part. I joined Mila 9 back in March. He said like, this this program that you have to attend then actually told me about this program a year ago and then it was the same, the application was the same time Rise Up was, so I said I can't do it, unfortunately. And then until Rania joined, Ayuti and Rania teamed up and said like, you have to join this program and I didn't really know much about uh, Mila. But however, this was one of the most transformative experiences in my life. I think this is a, a cliche everyone at Mila says, it's a transformative point and you attend all the time. Well, I knew a little bit more about it from Yasmin. Yasmin was telling me, you know what, uh, you have a network, but this is a very special network. And she was like a little bit not selling. It, was, it sounded very appealing as well. Um, I joined and uh, at the time where actually the company was at crossroads, uh, change in management, uh, the company was even in rise up at that point had a lot of account payables with challenges with people that want to shift careers and leave and and I can't leave the space so, so I got a call uh, from the US <laughs> so uh, saying like hey Sharara huh Jim. yes so Jim Krupe called like hey Sharara I'm Jim Krupe I think you should join Mila <laughs> like I am, I'm probably joining Mila it's like no this is good uh, this is going to be the best thing that ever happens to you I was like yeah, but I have a lot of problems. And he said, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what you need to do. And my mom was sick and was, everything was falling apart. And I just believed in his tone of his voice was very authentic. And though we never met, I really believed in, in this. And I really needed some sort of like a zoom out uh, for 14 days to, ch to really unlearn and then uh, discover myself more. So it was an, ex an experiment, a really incredible experiment uh, that to the extent that I had one of like a, a very huge like government official from one of the Arab countries visiting the office here and they called me to, to come and I said like, you know what, whatever, I'll stay in, uh, in Jordan at that time. But this, uh, this experience led me to being more grounded, very similar to the theme and understand more that you really need to learn year by year. You need to expand your network. I thought I like I knew it all, and then Mila destroyed uh, this <laughs> consensus. Uh, and I thought like I had enough friends, and Mila also destroyed this consensus. I thought that, yeah, Nicholas, I'm the entrepreneurship best. Net only the entrepreneurship network is like this cool network, but there are other networks that have entrepreneurship within local, regional, and global that really make a lot of meaning. So Mila helped me a lot to crystallize, firstly, purpose. And I wrote my purpose statement, all of that. And uh, to also focus a lot about learning uh, and more even into getting to know more you know, people know more than uh, closely. You know, I got more interested in 
people. <laughs> I got much more interested in, in knowing people in a deeper level. Uh, I ended up being on the board, uh, worked on a lot of initiatives, on, on any, I owe them a lot of work and, and uh, I'm super grateful for that. But that's the Mila part and uh, I'm very excited that a lot of people that are not Mila also members that are interested in joining the group and I know a lot of friends that are applying right now. So that's Mila. Rise Up. Uh, Rise Up started back in 2013. I was 26. I used to work for Inges, so I was a colleague of, uh, of Rania. Before working in Jez, I actually graduated from one of the Inges programs. So back then, there was a very big challenge in the startup ecosystem in the region whereby there are a lot of startups coming up. They're all new things, especially young uh, founders. Yasin is an Inges graduate, and he can tell you a lot about that experience. We were very young people who were like, we want to achieve our dreams, but there was a gap between that young generation and the startup ecosystem. So investors and incubators and, and support organizations did not find this common ground. And the idea of Rise Up, uh, back then in 2013, with my co-founders, Khan, Gihed, and, and Mansoor, we were like, let's bring everyone together into one place. And the theme was e uh, the first entrepreneurship ecosystem uh, summit. It was here in downtown Cairo, where when Elfie was taking the Greek campus, and 2013 Egypt, it was a, actually an interesting year because it was the uh, year between two regimes. So there was no government. There was a curfew 90 days prior to the summit. On the week of the summit, this street, Mohammed Mahmoud, that links this venue to the other venue was totally blocked and it was actually protests and police against each other. Uh, it was called the Mohammed Mahmoud incidents. And then the same week, Egypt lost 6-0 qualifying to the World Cup from Ghana. <laughs> and it was the current president's CC president uh, birthday before becoming president as well and there were a lot of protests at that time everything was really on fire and we selected that day because I had a dream of a guy called Talat Harb who started the first bank ever uh, and, the, and the, his birthday was 25th of November so I wanted to celebrate his birthday so we stuck to the dates uh, I had to sleep here in the campus for like four weeks sold my car, the classical entrepreneurship, sold my car, bank account, zero, all that stuff. And then uh, the beauty of it is that most of those entrepreneurs I was telling you about came actually to help. So everyone came and slept at the campus the last three or four days. I, I was surrounded with more than 100 people, which also gave us this understanding that there are a lot of people who are willing to help uh, within the startup ecosystem. And then most of the VCs and the investors and all the support organizations came on board. <coughs> Then we moved from just an event into an institutionalized uh, site. So we started thinking of the Rise Up company, hired a team, we flew all around the world, trying to understand every single startup ecosystem from Stockholm, Berlin, everywhere in the Arab region, Africa, US, Russia. And then Rise Up 15 came and was more global. Over then 16, 17 was really the most successful uh, event last year. <laughs> Yasmin Nostar can also tell you a lot about it. She, she led the strategic side uh, at the company at that level. And a lot of the startup ecosystem stakeholders built a really, really groundbreaking event that actually led us to today, whereby everyone's here as well. Uh, that's the whole story in a nutshell. I was helped many, many, many times by many, many people. And I, owe, if I, I can't say names because I'll owe hundreds of people, uh, which is part of the values of, uh, of, Le of Mila about learning and, and understanding from others. So I was sort of a sponge for all of those uh, experiences, uh, more experienced people and support as well. Uh, I'm very grateful for the past five years. Uh, I, I also got married last week, for this, like last month, sorry. Time is now. <laughs> yeah, can't be there, yeah. Yeah, exactly, somewhere in the past. <laughs> And so this is also a very special year for me. And we met actually at Rise Up two years ago and became friends. And last year, the same year, we just felt like we can be closer. And then here we go. So uh, this is, yani, I, live, I live all in. So this is my entire life. And uh, in, in a snapshot, I'm happy to say anything very transparent. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much, guys. I don't know wh why you want to listen to, to this boring story. <laughs> I hope you really enjoy the event, and 
make the most out of it. It's re there are amazing people everywhere, everywhere. I bumped into this incredible uh, group from the south, from Asyut in Egypt, and they were like, it's a very, very harsh circumstances there. <clears throat> and it's like one TA who brought 20 of his students to the event and paid them tickets and uh, into here, and it's like, he's, he's sleeping somewhere uh, in a very small boutique hotel here, and it's like, I'm coming here for the three days, I'm going to network with everyone, all stuff. The incredible stuff Gaza Sky Geeks is doing and, and, and everyone coming from Palestine. I met them actually, the, the entrepreneurs. We had some very cool pictures 30 minutes ago and they were telling me what hard, how hard it uh, was to come here. And, and then I heard the ideas and the startups that they have, they're incredible. But this is an opportunity. Uh, Rise Up is just a platform. It's, just, it's a meeting space for, for everyone. This is an opportunity to really meet uh, the right people at the right time. That's, that's it. Any questions? Rani. So Unexpected. <laughs> One, one point was actually I was, I was very close to depression at that point. Uh, when, when you're a founder and you've been building a company for four or five years, it's very, very hard. It's very tough. It's all, and you, especially when it hits you in the face with the problems every day. And I didn't really understand where the problems were. Like I felt like we did an incredible summit and everything was really doing well. It's not about time to, to move to the next step and all the stuff. And then... Uh, Mila told me actually some, like I learned something there. I had to sort of like go through the whole experience and then at the end it's like, okay, why don't you actually think that you are the problem? And this was the first moment like owning the whole concept of not, not thinking of blaming anyone or thinking just like ownership uh, was a key uh, a learning for me. So I went out saying like, you know what? You're the mistake, you're the problem, you, 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 sorry, you fucked up everything. But make it happen and fix it. But that was the, the key thing. And, and then within every single relationship I had, uh, I feel right now of ownership, and, right? So that's, that's the... That's yeah. Any other questions? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, the black, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys, and uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if I bored you.